What's up you guys, Isaiah with the Chancy here for my next Marvel Legends toy video review. And today we're gonna be looking at the Marvel Legends series of Marvel's Hawkeye from Marvel Studios Hawkeye that's streaming on Disney Plus. <clears throat> so for the package, you got this very cool open window that showcases Hawkeye with all of his accessories, and you get his name Hawkeye, which is Marvel's Hawkeye, and he is from his own series, Marvel Studios Hawkeye, and he was made by Hasbro. On this side, and this side, you get a really cool artwork image of Hawkeye. And on the back of the box, you get to see another image of Hawkeye. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we got a little bio, a bio here, which says, it says here, Hawkeye's, it says Hawkeye's only shot at taking down a a dangerous criminal um, conspiracy is an um, light, unlikely, part, unlikely new partner, Kate Bishop. <clears throat> And there we go. So for the package of Hawkeye, that's about it. So let me get so let me get this dude out here and see how awesome and MCU accurate he actually is. So here's Hawkeye out of the packaging. And I gotta say, this is actually really interesting. This is actually a really cool representation of Hawkeye. So I think there'll be some things I like, and I don't know if there'll be things or one thing I won't like, but let's take a look at this figure. So to start things off, we're gonna start off with his um his outfit that he's wearing we're gonna start off with the outfit so right here we got his um right here we got a lot of a little bit of purple and some black um um paint on his outfit so right here we got his uh we got the purple for the arm for the long sleeves of his arms and then including his gloves eventually and then we get um some purple on this arm for this sleeve of his arm on this side including his glove and then right here we got this purple arrow we get purple on the shoulders right here and then we get the rest of this um and right here we get the rest of these uh the rest of the um the black shirt here we get the rest of the black shirt the purple arrow then we get his black pants and his uh his black boots and then right here i do want to talk about this strap right here i believe this strap supposed to i think this is a strap that's supposed to like like go all the way right here to here i so this means uh um this strap probably basically like attach with his uh quiver so i guess that's why they put it on the actual suit probably in the tv show including on the figure and next up, I do want to talk about the head sculpt for 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 a reason. So the head sculpt does look a little bit like Jeremy Renner. I kind of see it, but not quite. I mean, with the head sculpt, it looks okay. It's just that it doesn't. It's not a hundred percent accurate to look like Jeremy Renner. Um, but it kind of does look like Jeremy Renner, but not even close. I think they could have done a better job, but at least they did. At least I, uh, at least um, I respect them for trying. But at least they did a really good job with the head sculpt. And the likeness is fine. But it doesn't look like Jeremy Renner. I think they could have added a little bit more of the Jeremy Renner likeness on the face. And right here, and speaking of the uh, face, we got a little bit of a scratch here on his, on his cheekbone. Then we get a little bit of a scratch on his on the side of his forehead with the bandages on on, on his scratch right there. And that's it. And then we get his brown hair eventually. And he does come with accessories. He does come with this uh, Infinity Ultron. He does come with this Infinity Ultron that we most likely saw in Marvel's Marvel Studios' What If on Disney Plus. Um, the only thing he comes with his he comes with is his uh, his left arm, the left arm of Infinity Ultron, which is a uh, silver and gold. Um, he comes with a, he comes with a bow, but he didn't come with any, um, okay, he didn't come with any, um, um, arrow accessories, it's, my, it's probably because maybe Hasbro think the, the bow accessories might be easy to lose, so, I mean, I, which is, I understand, so, I mean, I'm, I'm fine without the, uh, arrow accessories anyway, so, um, and w because of the bow, I think the bow looks pretty cool, um, and it got, it does have some a little bit of wraps right here, so so that this is where he holds um his bow to uh, shoot his arrows out, and he comes with his quiver. 
I think the quiver looks pretty cool, but they're going to add a little bit of purple on some of the arrows. And they're going to add, or they're going to add in like an Avengers logo or like an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. type of logo on his quiver, which that would have been really nice. And he comes with um, interchangeable hands. He comes with fist. He got he comes with this fist for this left hand for the left arm and the right and this one comes with the right arm and he does come with other hand accessories. Let me take them off really quick. Um, so these are is these are his um interchangeable hands. These are this is his wide hand where he lets go of one of his arrows or two of his arrows, and this is his holding hand where he holds um his bow. So, and it does have his gloves. And this is where he, this is what the gloves actually look like. Although the fingers, uh, we do get his, uh, his black fingers. Then we get his actual, um, skin tone of his, um, his thumb and his, um, and his, um, pinky finger. And we get a little bit of purple on his glove. And same thing goes through this. It's just quite different. All you just see is the skin tone of the, uh, all you, all you see is the, a little bit of the skin, the, the skin tone of his glove, and that's it. So, um, so for me, I think the the articulation is incredible. Um, wait, let me put his uh, hand back on. So for articulation. Um, he can look up, he can look down, he can move his neck, but I wish his neck could have been shorter, like, like I showed you the image. Hold on. You see this image right here? The neck right here is kind of short. On, but on the figure, his neck is kind of long. It's just a, something I need to, um, address a little bit. So for articulation, he can look this way, he can look that way, he can look up, he can look down, he can, um, move his his arms, he can move his elbow joints perfectly. His arms and his elbow joint um, his, um, articulation um, actually works perfectly. And then he can move his knee joints and he can move his ankle joints. So, like I said, with, hand assess with the hand accessories, to my opinion, it's up to you if you want to have him have a fist if you want to have his fist accessories on him, or you can have him use his uh his wide hand and his holding hand. To me, I will probably have to me I want to have his holding hand and his open wide hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach his accessories on him. Um we're gonna attach this bow on his hand. One sec. And there we go. And then we get his um his quiver. And speaking of the quiver, if you do take this off, please be aware. If you do have this figure, please be aware of these of stress marks on this on the peg right about here, because this might end up having stress marks, and and otherwise the ill pop ill probably like break off of the peg, which is not good. Um. So, and then you can also uh, attach this right about here, and I'm going to attach it all the way in here, and now he's ready for action. See? Now he's ready for action. So, I guess this is a badass version of uh, Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye. This is actually my first time getting a Hawkeye figure. Um, although I'm going to try to find the Kate Bishop figure, which I heard some people like and some people don't, I mean, some people like her and some people don't like her as, like, as a Marvel Legends figure, but with me, I got to see what my opinions on that figure is. And when I saw reviews of the, the Marvel Legends MCU Kate Bishop figure, I was like, you know, I probably want to get her, I was going to get her first, but instead I actually got Hawkeye first, which is fine. But, um, I, well, I'm going to get Kate Bishop very, very soon. Um, so I guess that's it for the Hawkeye figure. And that's mostly about it. So, like I said, this is actually one of the, one of the, one of the best 
interesting um, Marvel Legends MCU figures I ever had for the first time. But, but like I said, there was some stuff that I like and some stuff I didn't like that should that needs to be addressed a little bit. But I guess that's it for uh, Hawkeye. So nothing much to say. So be sure to like, subscribe, press the notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.